The EU proposes a youth mobility agreement with the UK to help young adults travel, work, and live across borders. In this video, we talk about the EU's proposal to restore the ability for young individuals to live and work in the EU and the UK. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. The European Commission has proposed to EU member states about opening negotiations with the UK that would simplify studying and working in the EU for young individuals. It's an exciting opportunity for young people to explore and grow professionally across borders, even after Brexit. This would be a limited arrangement, not a restoration of the free movement of people. This scheme is also separate from the 90-day visa-less travel in the EU that UK citizens can enjoy. Under the proposal by the EU, new rules would be drawn up to allow EU and UK citizens aged 18 to 30 to stay in the target country for up to four years. If the agreement goes through, participating countries will grant a special youth mobility scheme visa. This visa may come with certain requirements such as health insurance and verification of appropriate subsistence means, as is the case with other global mobility schemes. The UK currently has a series of agreements with countries including New Zealand, South Korea, Iceland, and India, which provide a similar pathway to what the EU is proposing. The British government has stated that it is open to the idea of extending youth mobility agreements, but with individual European countries, and not EU-wide. During the 2016 Brexit referendum, one of the central points of discussion was the EU's free movement rules. Brexit was aimed to end these rules to grant the UK more authority over immigration decisions. However, according to the EU, the withdrawal of the UK from the EU has damaged mobility between the two areas. What are your thoughts on whether the EU and UK will reach an agreement regarding free movement post-Brexit? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.